lowercase i and j in liberation serif, with tittles in red. A tittle or a superscript dot is a small distinguishing mark, such as a diacritic in the form of a dot on a lowercase i or j. The tittle is an integral part of the glyph of i and j, but diacritic dots can appear over other letters in various languages. In most languages, the tittle of i or j is omitted when a diacritic is placed in the tittle's usual position, but not when the diacritic appears elsewhere. The word tittle is rarely used. One notable occurrence is in the King James Bible at Matthew 5:18, For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. The quotation uses jot and tittle as examples of extremely small graphic details in the law, presumably referring to the Hebrew text of the Torah. In English the phrase jot and tittle indicates that every small detail has received attention. The Greek terms translated in English as jot and tittle in Matthew 5:18 are iota and karia. Iota is the smallest letter of the Greek alphabet. The even smaller iota subscript was a medieval innovation. Alternatively, iota may represent yod, the smallest letter of the Hebrew and Aramaic alphabets. Karai is a hook or serif, and in Matthew 5, 18th of May refer to Greek diacritics, or, if the reference is to the Hebrew text of the Torah, possibly refers to the pen strokes that distinguish between similar Hebrew letters, e. g. versus, or to ornamental pen strokes attached to certain Hebrew letters, or to the Hebrew letter Vav, since in Hebrew Vav also means hook. Karai in Matt. 518 cannot refer to vowel marks known as nicked, which develop later than the date of Matthew's composition. Others have suggested that Karaya refers to markings in cursive scripts of languages derived from Aramaic, such as Syriac, written in Serta. In printing modern Greek numerals a Karaya is used. Example of the dotless I on an Irish road sign B without a tittle and by with a tittle in the middle Vietnamese dictionary Dictionarium Animiticum. Me with a tittle on Vietnamese signage I with acute and hard dot in Lithuanian and Vietnamese a number of alphabets use dotted and dotless I. Both upper and lower case. In the modern Turkish alphabet, the absence or presence of a tittle distinguishes two different letters representing two different phonemes, the letter I, with the absence of a tittle also on the lower case letter. Represents the close back on rounded vowel, while I, I, with the inclusion of a tittle even on the capital letter, represents the close front on rounded vowel. I. This practice has carried over to several other Turkic languages, like the Azerbaijani alphabet, Crimean Tatar alphabet, and Tatar alphabet. In some of the Dean languages of the Northwest Territories in Canada, specifically North Slavy, South Slavy, Tielcho and Dean Song, all instances of I are undotted to avoid confusion with tone-marked vowels E or I grave. The other Dean language of the Northwest Territories, Gwich'in, always includes the tittle on lowercase i. There is only one letter I in Irish, but I is undotted in the traditional uncial Gaelic script to avoid confusion of the tittle with the bile overdot found over consonants. Modern texts replace the bile with an H, and use the same antiqua-descendant fonts, which have a tittle, as other Latin alphabet languages. However, bilingual road signs use dotless I in lowercase Irish text to better distinguish I from E. The letter J is not used in Irish other than in foreign words. In most Latin-based orthographies, the lowercase letter I conventionally has its dot replaced when a diacritical mark atop the letter, such as an acute or grave accent, is placed. The till is sometimes retained in some languages. In some Baltic languages sources, the lowercase letter I sometimes retains a tittle when accented. In Vietnamese in the 17th century, the tittle is preserved atop I and I but not I grave and E, as seen in the seminal quoc and gu reference Dictionarium Animiticum Lucidnum et Latinum. In modern Vietnamese, a tittle can be seen in I grave, I, I, and E in cursive handwriting and some signage. This detail rarely occurs in computers and on the internet, due to the obscurity of language-specific fonts. In any case, the tittle is always retained in I. Thanks for watching.